limestone calcined clay. What do we know about this latest game-changing technology that has the potential of transforming and revolutionizing the cement industry? Well, to be brief, let's just say that the manufacturing of LC3 cement helps in reducing the greenhouse gas emissions significantly as compared to the popularly used PPC and OPC cement. Consumption is supposed to rise dramatically in the coming decades. Hence, LC3 is the need of the hour. It harnesses the synergetic effect of clinker substitution by a combination of calcine clay and limestone to obtain the cement. Made from low-grade limestone, 45% of clinker is saved as a result. As the world population is expected to reach 9 billion by 2050 and the world GDP is expected to double, thus the vast quantities of sustainable resources are the need of the hour. LC3 Cement thus brings hope as it manages to bridge economic growth and sustainable development. In Tara, through sophisticated and state-of-the-art technology, with the help of hard-working scientists and lab technicians, we ensure that LC3 cement is commercialized and reaches the masses. The process begins with teams of geologists excavating and finding kaolinite-rich clay samples from around the world. The clay samples are then brought into the Tara Ghitorni site, where each sample is carefully tested. The next step will be heating the clay in the oven after weighing to remove the moisture. After drying, the process will start which is grinding, followed by which the samples are then sent to the laboratory at Tara facilities in New Delhi, where each and every sample received are carefully tested through the XRF machines, XRD machine, thermogravimetric analysis. The selected samples are calcined for isothermal calorimeter analysis. And then finally, we get the clay, which is helpful in making LC3 cement. So, before we go, let's leave you with the ideas of the heads of Tara Applied Research Center to know more about the expansion plans for this new product. So, TARC specializes in clay and it's, uh, and it's used in LC3. So, in the next four years, uh, we are looking at uh, expanding the team the scientific uh, knowledge behind uh, finding out the right materials to be used in combination of clinker, limestone and gypsum which the cement industry already knows uh, and ours will be a role to support the cement industry to go green by 2030 and then ultimately to 2050. What we have plans is that in the next couple of months and in the couple of in the next years we would like to fast track this process, create demonstration projects support the companies in producing the cement, getting the approval from the from BIS, looking at the clays, finding out what are the right clays and supporting them in producing this this cement.